the Philippines, one of my favorite countries in the entire world. I just got back from my second trip out there, where I spent a majority of my time up north, exploring the less traveled areas of the country. Home to rolling mountains, vast rice terraces, hidden lagoons, and giant waterfalls, the north deserves so much more recognition than it gets. My dudes, my name is Noah VDE, and these are some of the hidden gems I found while backpacking northern Philippines. The Philippines is a huge country with many, many islands, but today we're going to focus on one, the island of Luzon. No need for airplanes, no need for ferries, you can reach all of these gems by bus or van. Starting off our adventures, we're going to hang out in the capital of the Philippines, Manila. About an hour and a half jeepney ride from Manila, you will find something called the Masungi Geo Reserve. Masungi takes fun and adventure to another level, all while being completely sustainable, low impact, and leading the conservation effort for the forests around it. Not only do you get to take an epic hike through the forests and the spiked rocks, but you also get to monkey around climbing up and down these massive rope ladders. Masungi takes the conservation effort of their area very seriously, so they only allow a certain number of large groups to participate each day. So just keep in mind, to be able to do this trek you will need to find a group. Up next is the city of Banawe, which is about an 8 hour bus ride north of Manila. There is tons to do in Banawe, but that's for another video. Today we're focusing on Hapao Hot Spring. From Banawe, you're able to hire a trike driver to take you to and from the hot spring. Once you get there, it's about a 30 minute beautiful hike through the Hapao Rice Terraces before you end up at a hidden spring right beside a river. It honestly doesn't get much better than that. You got some hot, you got some cold, you got some mountains, you got some rock statues. It's the perfect place to hang out. By the way, no joke, the river is freezing. She's cold. The next gem on the list is just east of Benawe. It's called Batai. Batad is something special. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site with the most beautiful rice terraces I have ever seen. These massive cement terraces have been around for thousands of years, surrounding a small village in the bottom of a massive mountain valley. It's not often that I say my mind was blown by something like this, but seriously there is no other way to put it. This is truly spectacular. Oh, and to top this one off, there is a massive waterfall just around the corner. Doesn't get much better than that. Before we check out the next gem, I just want to let you guys know that I released my travel guide for the Philippines. I put basically everything I know about this country into this guide. From what to pack to how to deal with visas, vaccines, banking, budgeting advice, and so much more. If you guys want to check it out, noahvde.com forward slash store. Next up is actually one of my favorite towns in the Philippines. It's a mountain town called Sagata. A couple jeepneys and a couple hours west of Batad and Banawe, you'll come across the town of Sagata. I consider the town of Sagata itself a gem. It is surrounded by so many activities, whether that be caves or waterfalls or viewpoints, it has it all. The town has such a nice vibe, the air is fresh, there's nature all around, it's the perfect place. One of my favorite things we saw were the cliff coffins, make sure you check them out. There is a ton of history behind it, and some of these coffins are extremely old. Now we're headed up to the northern tip of Luzon to a small town called Pugudpud. Pugudpud is a nice town with two beautiful beaches, but just around the corner there is a hidden waterfall that takes the next gem. Kabigan Falls is only a short distance from Pugudpud and you can get there either by trike or by bus. Once you get there, you take about a 45 minute hike deep into the jungle where you are greeted with a beautiful waterfall and a stunning lagoon. Northern Luzon really isn't that well traveled compared to the rest of the country, so Mike and I had this waterfall to ourselves. 
And last, but most definitely not least, we're headed to a small town by the name of Adams. A short bus ride from Pugudpud along the highway will bring you to this road where you get off and then catch a motorbike into Adams. Nestled deep inside of the mountains, Adams is a town that you've probably never heard of. With a population of just over 1,700 people, <laughs> it's pretty small. But that is why I love it. The local people are amazing, you will be the only visitors there, and you are surrounded by nature. The entire town of Adams is a gem to me, but my favorite thing to do there was going to see the Anupliag Waterfall. A gorgeous hour and a half hike through the mountains will bring you to Anupliag Falls where you'll find two waterfalls, some cliff jumps, and a beautiful lagoon. And there it is guys, the hidden gems of the north. Thank you so much for watching my dudes, I cannot wait to return to the Philippines. And again, if you're headed to the Philippines, I wrote that travel guide just for you. It covers anything and everything that I wanted to know before I set out on my journey, and hopefully it can help you too. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in another one.